Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, we got the IT and everything hooked up. The woman was most helpful uh, in getting all of that organized, handing me pieces and parts and, and things. So, how do you think it went? I'm tired already and we're not done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we've done a lot today. We got the mirror attached out there. There's some hiccups there that are gonna have to be done. Um, but let's jump right into it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you kind of what the end result of the tech looked like. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So first thing is I actually did bring a new sound bar with me. I brought this Sony, and I, we kind of briefly showed it to you. We had it sitting on top of the sofa in front of the TV, but I wanted to uh, change it up a little bit. Sound coming out of that cabinet, since it's hollow, it sounds like a subwoofer, so it's awesome. You can see here I got the um, I got the Apple TVs all hooked up. So this is where we ended up with everything. I've got the Amplify router for my Wi-Fi, my Apple TV. I've got the uh, splitter for my HDMI, Blu-ray. I've got my Mac Mini. I've got all my hard drives right here, two terabytes each. And then right over here. I've actually got my hotspot. So now I can have the hotspot on the wall. These are all Velcroed, so I don't have to worry about them moving around. I've got my power all redistributed back in here. And then right here is the list that we had for the things that we wanted to do. And this is all the stuff that we're working on today, trying to get things done. If you watch the other little short I put out there where we were talking about the Aqua Hot, uh, we did get that figured out. The girl went through and she did all the reading last night. And luckily what I had done with the Aqua Hot was right. Came in and turned on the, the tablet. I go in here. I went in and I turned on the Aqua Hot. Let me zoom in here turn on the aqua hot on diesel and then i basically had the upper units the ac units were, were off it was just the aqua hot itself was turned on and that circulates the uh, heat through the bay uh, there's a thermostat actually on the back of our water bay that is preset from the factory to keep the tanks from freezing so i didn't have to worry about that i was kind of freaking out looking for a thermostat because all the videos out there don't really show you uh, our specific model or the Fleetwood Discovery. It took a little while to do that, but the girl was very patient. She read through all of the books and <laughs> found some, some pretty cool little things. Why don't you tell them about it? <laughs> you don't need a college degree, but some of the books aren't um, up to par. And as I read through the Fleetwood manual provided with our RV, I realized grammatical errors, words missing letters, the layout, they did everything in justified columns throughout the entirety of the manual. And some sections you get to when they're discussing, for example, the induction cooktop and right next to it, that column is discussing the air conditioning units. A little confusing. The next page continues with the air conditioning units and then moves on to the cooktop stove again. It needs work. And, Fleetwood, and whoever, Freightliner, whoever puts that book together, do a little better QA when they... Oh, oh the graphics overlaying text that yeah. you need to read. That's also a plus. And, and of course it was on something particularly important, which was the Firefly monitor and accessing buttons for the temperature or um, electricity, something to that effect. Both very important items that you probably need to read up on instead of just having a picture overlaying the top of the words. One other thing I want to kind of point out real quick, we started the uh, system in here on the thermostat right after we got here and it is now 71 degrees. We have the aqua hot running in the front, which is the basically the, radi the radiator is right below this tablet. So they call it front, it's actually mid. The rear I've got running on heat pump and aqua hot and it's cranking some, some heat. It's at 71 now. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down because that is getting a little, uh, 
It's toasty a, a, in the back. A little, a little, yeah, it's a little toasty. The, the floor tiles are still like super cold. So I don't know if the floor heat function is actually working or not. These are still ice cold. We'll have to ask General RV when we get there yeah. because it, we, it, it has it. It's clearly marked on the tablet. And in the but, manuals. And in the manuals, but it's just not working. Let's show you, I promised you guys, I would show you what this thing can actually do now that we've got it all hooked up. But I'm just gonna kind of show you what this is doing in the Apple TV. I go into the computer settings. You can see it instantly comes up, brings up my media. So let's go ahead and we're gonna take a look at a movie here real quick. And look at that, Black Adam just recently released. Or I could go in here and look at Maverick if I want to, to have a little bit of music. If you guys have used Apple TV before, you'll know right away exactly what I'm talking about. You hit play and it takes a while to queue up. And there you go. You're right into the movie. So it's instantaneous. Um, but I could go in here to some anime or something like that. If I go in here and just pick something here. But, Universal 2. <laughs> Yeah. Well, as you can see, the audio works really well and it's instantaneous loading this stuff up. So it's even better than running it from the internet. It didn't pull a pinch of internet from the Apple TV on the router. And in the settings for the network, it's running on ethernet. But if you notice the IP addresses and stuff, it's all localized. And that's because I'm actually connected to the Mac computer using ethernet in the mac i went into the network settings and i turned on internet connect sharing for the ethernet port so that i could plug the apple tv directly to the mac mini so that i could access these drives all i really have is a shared connection between those two sources our wi-fi ranger that we have has an at&t sim loaded in it we don't have an at&t account but we could get one and that way we would have two different internet sources if we wanted to we're gonna christen our beast with lunch. with lunch. We got uh, something real yummy. Got some nice Dennymore beef stew and some Hormel complete. So yeah, we got uh, we're, we're we're living high today. <laughs> we're, we're we're going high, we're going highbrow for our meal. At least it's only once. They don't eat like that all the time. No, no, it's not healthy to do that all the time. Yeah. Uh, we did go ahead and put some of the black tank treatment in. This is what it is. It's the Camco TST Max. And it says two ounces for 40 gallons. And our black tank is 47 gallons. I went ahead and I put, I put probably three. So I probably went over a little bit. I it was smelling pretty interesting. Yes. With the water just sitting stagnant. So yeah. yeah. That and fresh water, which is the one that really smells right now. It kind of smells a little sewery. Mm -hmm. uh, is because the water's been stagnant. Our fresh water tank's down to 64% now because we have been using it. I'm not getting a reading on the black tank though. That concerns me a little, but... Uh, when we go home, you can see here that uh, the black is not reading, the gray is not reading, but we have 67% in the fresh water. Um, but I'm going to put the fresh water in there, the, the water treatment. I'm going to use some shock and that blue treatment that we talked about earlier. Anything else you want to add there, Bug, before we go? No. I'm hungry. Still very exciting though, right? Yes, it is. Yes, yes. So we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.